Well, I'm, I'm glad that we've uh, that we we've managed to see some change. That there's there's some prospect of putting the brakes on uh, on the this uh, uh, the the sort of runaway uh, uh, kind of rogue uh, government in, in Washington. That's uh, that that really it's been very alarming to a lot of us. And uh, and I I think the the nation sent a sent a, a clear message that they. That they want some checks on on uh, on this administration, and that uh, a a Republican Congress uh, uh, executive and Supreme Court uh, is is uh, is maybe not such a good thing. So uh, yes, I'm pleased. I I do wish that we managed to do more. Um, uh, I supported a number of uh, candidates and uh, and. Have uh, have skin in the game, you know. So I, I and I also just have a very uh, powerful investment in what I feel my country is. I'm uh, I'm an unapologetic supporter of Barack Obama, and uh, and I miss him. And uh, and it it's alarming for me to see uh, the Republicans in Washington uh, dismantling and disassembling all the all the good work he tried to do. So. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it is. It's good to see there be some movement in the in the direction of sanity, but uh, you know, it, it remains to be seen what can be done. Well, when I first saw her, I thought, oh, um, I'm not going to get into it, but just say I had a very bad night last night. I mean, there, we had some good things. Grateful for the good, but uh, I was hoping that would be more changes. I was hoping for more change. I'm hoping for more civility and compassion, because I really believe that that is a very important part of our, our democracy and our country. Together, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful tribute to their love for Joni, so they gathered some fantastic artists. That I did watch the returns come in. I, I was. I had a, a wonderful group of um, some powerhouse women. I was with Barbara Boxer and Nicole Boxer and Jane Fonda and Monica Ramirez and um, Noreen Farrell and Wokey, um, all these great activists and uh, Lily Tomlin. We all were there together watching the outcome and, you know, we had some disappointments. We're still counting because they're still counting in Florida and Stacey Abrams. Um, we'll see what happens there, please God. Um, but uh, women, women, we've got women in Congress, and we've got, uh, we have the House, and we're, uh, you know, today more than ever, thank God we do, because we see the, um, the dictatorship coming um, right upon us, and, you know, started with the freedom of the press, rights being taken away. Um, Jim Acosta has been locked out of the White House tonight. Not okay. I, I'm on the Orange Monster fast, and I, I try and teach people. When you have a mad person who's trying to interest you every day in whatever he has to say, the important thing is to look the other way. That's what I do. Because I am not American, so I don't get to vote. So, as I explain in my book, always look on the bright side of life, available now. Uh, you, I have a whole passage which I do a riff on why I'm not American. It's about tax avoiding greedy bastards like this moron who drive you nuts. And I think everybody's kind of gets a bit crazy. Well, I, I, I was certainly hoping for a, a bigger blue wave, but I'll take what was there because I think change was made and it's uh, important that that got done. Lots of women for the first time, over 100. I think that's really important. And um, I feel a little bit like I can breathe a bit more tonight. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, and it just one more crack in the vessel. We'll, we'll see how long it holds together. Tom, read your right. They'll be coming in there soon.